Hey, beautiful people. Welcome back to Two Cents Beat. My name is Sadi, and today I am back with more of the Apothecary Diaries. So last episode, we had the foundation for like two mysteries laid down. So first of all, we have a new consort coming into the royal palace. We don't really know a whole lot about her. She entered the royal palace without much of a ceremony. She's kind of standoffish. She seems uninterested in, you know, the goings of the palace or anything like that. So we don't, we don't really know what her deal is, but she's here now. So we have to, something's going to come from her. Something's going to stem from her arrival. <laughs> The other thing we got going on, the second thing we got going on is this explosion within this like food storage place. It seems that it could have been just a flower explosion, like like flower got in the air, somebody was in the storage house smoking, that created a spark and therefore there was an explosion. But maybe there's more to it? Like maybe whoever caused the explosion is actually trying to make it seem like it was just, you know, a accidental flower explosion, but really turns out it's more. We don't know. Mau Mau is thinking it could just be a flower thing, but... Mm. Oh, also we did kind of see maybe like some discourse between some of the officials within the palace, but I don't really know what's going on with that, so maybe that's part of something else that's already going on. It's on its own separate incident. I don't know. How about we just jump on into this episode and see what else we get? Let's go. An merchant's home. Food poisoning. Ah. <laughs> of course. Oh my gosh, Mau Mau. <laughs> To try it. Officially involved. What is that? Oh. oh, him! Oh, they know each other. Okay, maybe he's not a bad guy. <laughs> Fell into a coma. Damn. Wait, does this. Oh. Okay, I guess it's something different. <gasps> Hello? Oh my god. <laughs> Oh my gosh! That was <laughs> terrifying. Oh yeah, it's poison. Yeah. <laughs> Unlike you, you're not. <laughs> she's not interested in you, bruh. <laughs> so she's not. Oh. <gasps> and the old lady's like, no, 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 no. Leave her alone. <laughs> He plays with her too much. He really does. Mm -hmm. Oh, he found more? Damn, he's quick. Ah. Wow. He's good. Oh my gosh. <laughs> At least he didn't react. <laughs> oh. oh my god. Okay. <laughs> Because <laughs> he kind of is. I think he is at least. Mm. Oh. Seaweed. Oh, that's good. Seaweed. Oh, that's good. 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 Oh, Oh, what the heck? Who the heck is this? What the hell? Yeah, so who, who the hell are you? Ooh, ooh, that sound. That was good. Younger brother. Oh, do we have a suspect? Hmm. Basen. 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 Mm hmm. Hmm? Why that one? Oh, is that the seaweed? Oh. Maybe it's not poisonous in small quantities? Sir, you and... She didn't take some? Oh, she took some. Mm -hmm. Oh. 
<laughs> because he's bored, probably. Actually, no, maybe he's here for something. Oh. Mm -hmm. Oh, to get rid of the. Oh. I mean, she. I'm sure she soaked it. <laughs> probably. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! Oh. Um, anyway, <laughs> back to the point. Wow. But, right. Mm -hmm. Someone's trying to persuade him to eat it like that. Yeah. Sorry, I suddenly had the need to pop my fingers. Oh? <laughs> Mama! <laughs> I love Mama's voice actress. Like, it's so great. Oh, it was the brother. Okay, the typical, yeah. Someone's. <gasps> Ooh, someone giving them advice? At a tavern? Mm hmm. Somebody's spilling deadly secrets. <gasps> oh, still this? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Oh my god, Oh! Oh my gosh! <laughs> she turned the charm on so much. Uh, he's not. <laughs> what the hell? What the hell? What the fuck? <laughs> Did he have to? T was he so shook by her that he had no other option but to bang his head against the pillar? <laughs> oh my god. He just couldn't... His brain stopped working, so he had to turn it on by brute force. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, that's hilarious. Oh. Oh, Jinshi. I love how much... How hard... Or how long it went on for, too. I gotta, I gotta look this up in the manga. Oh wait, it's because she smiled. <laughs> Bro, Mama was powerful, and Jinchi's just not used to it. <laughs> I love. I think he hit his head against the thing like five times. It was great. Is it the guy? Uh, oh, she reacted to that. Oh, it is. It probably is the guy. The son? Oh. Does she know? Him? Go Shogi and rumors? Oh, he's a little nosy, huh? Oh, Mama's tuning out. What is she thinking? Oh! Oh, does she know it? Maybe her dad told her about him? About this person? <laughs> ラカン。An old acquaintance. <gasps> Is it her dad? No, 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 it's not one of the girls. どんな技術ですか? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think she's. I don't think he's talking about a courtesan. I love the music that's going on. The piano. Oh wait, maybe he is trying. I mean, maybe he was talking about a courtesan. Oh. Oh. <gasps> oh, she was, so she had like an arrogant attitude. Wait, 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 wait! <laughs> so they thought of her? Oh! <laughs> Sir! 
That was unnecessary. He's a bit of a dirty trick. What the hell? <gasps> what did he do? All oh, the rain? Oh, it looks like it's going into the cup. Ah! Tell us! God damn. <sighs> is it is he talking about Mama's mother? Okay, okay, and then they move on. God damn it. Oh. What happened? Oh. <laughs> his little his little like shadow puppet. I love his eye cut out. Makes him look makes him look very unhinged. She's gonna ask for her. Oh, the animation! Mm -hmm. Sir. <gasps> her shoes are dirty. <laughs> That's where it ends! God! Wait, were they talking about her mom? No. Okay, I gotta look at that. I have to look at this. Okay, in the manga, at least in this manga, he definitely, Lakan, definitely a lot more sinister looking. I feel like in the anime, they kind of tone it up and down, depending. Y'all! Oh my god! Are we finally getting into Mau Mau's past? Mau Mau's history? Are we finally forming connections to that? Was Lakan talking about Mau Mau's mom? She had like a similar hair color or maybe like, maybe not mom, but at least like relative, like older sister or something. The person who Mau Mau goes back to visit, but they haven't really shown us who it is, you know? And if so, and if so, what the hell did he do to her? He says he brought down her value. And it's like, it's like, damn it, sir. Damn it. I was, I had a, I had a bad feeling about you initially. And then I started warming up to you a little bit. I was like, okay, maybe he's not that bad. If Gaoshun considers him a colleague, you know, maybe he's not that bad. And now it's like, oh, what did you do? You. <sighs> anyway, I don't know. I'm just assuming based off of little tidbits that they gave us because they gave us a lot this episode. So we have not gone back to the courtesan, the new courtesan. We have not gone back to the flower explosions. Someone in the comments last time did mention that like technically we didn't really solve anything about the colored flames. We don't know anything about that yet. It's like, how many mysteries are they weaving together? <laughs> like, oh my goodness. Not that I'm complaining. I love it. It's absolutely great. I absolutely love this. These types of stories where like mysteries are just like and you don't know which way the story is going. Fantastic. But so this episode we shifted the focus and now we got this um puffer fish incident where these two people from different times, I guess. One's in the present, one's like a couple of years ago or in the past basically. Um kind of suffered the same situation where they fell into a coma because of puffer fish poisoning and Mamo was having to figure it out. That was the first half of this episode. The second half of this episode was basically just like actually introducing Lakan into the story and kind of, and he's being kind of a little punk. A lot of, no, he's being a little punk. Like he is, he's, mess, he's messing with Jinshi, which I kind of feel like Jinshi probably deserves at least a little bit let's be honest. But also, it's not like Lakan seems to be a good person necessarily if he's over here like saying he wanted to force himself onto a courtesan or like he wanted to lower her value in order to acquire her. It's like, ooh, you're kind of a scumbag. Or, and I hope it's kind of this situation, maybe it's just the story is painting him to be a scumbag. And really, we'll, we'll have like a little switcheroo and it'll be like he's actually not, you know, I don't know. I don't know. <sighs> we got a lot of stuff. We got a lot of stuff and I just want the next episode, but now we gotta wait. So 
Ah, things are getting really interesting. Things are getting so interesting. So until then, let me know what you guys thought of this episode in the comments down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe if you liked this video. Check out the socials for anime and manga content. Check out Patreon for early access and longer episode reactions. Don't forget to drink some water and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye! Oh.